Breaking news on the Walton County customary use public beach access case. A final judgment was issued on February 15th, 2024, and the county level case is officially closed. So does this mean that the customary use public beach access drama is over? Nope. Hey, I'm Rachel Worrell. I'm a real estate agent here in Northwest Florida, keeping you informed on all things property rights and property values here in Florida. This five year long legal battle initially involved 1194 beachfront parcels. However, most parcels have since been dismissed, some settling for limited public use. The most recent order by Judge Green cleared 81 more parcels, affirming public customary use rights under agreed upon conditions, which was a huge win for Walton County. But the drama isn't completely over. Despite Walton County's victory, challenges arose from the settlement terms, leading some owners to seek withdrawal from the settlement. Wait, here's another plot twist for you. While the county level case has been concluded, another legal battle is unfolding in the appellate courts. At least seven parcels are currently awaiting a ruling following oral arguments heard by the first district court of appeals in October of 2023. So I've taken the time to listen to the hour and a half long oral argument so you don't have to. Essentially, both the county and the private beachfront parcel owners are seeking a ruling from the Court of Appeals on two critical questions. One, does the doctrine of customary use exist? And two, if it does, is it constitutional? I'll provide you with the latest updates on the appellate case as soon as new information is announced. In the meantime, I'm sure you're curious. How do you find out which beaches are public and which beaches are private in Walton County? Well, the Walton County Tourism Department is working on an interactive map in signage to communicate public beach accesses. Here's a link to the map below. But I wanna know, what are your thoughts on this? Should all public beaches remain accessible to the public in Florida or should some beaches remain private? Let me know in the comments below.